All right. Well, going to get uh, things kicked off here now. I think we got uh, most folks that are going to join who are, who are on. So uh, thanks again for uh, jumping on this webinar with us today. Um, name is Joe Miller, the Director of Product here at Polarity. And uh, today we're going to be kind of talking about LinkedIn. It's, it's a different use case than kind of what we've covered. Um, it's not as cyber focused, just kind of how uh, Polarity can work with LinkedIn and kind of a, a different way to to look in and use Polarity kind of more on the sales um, leadership type uh, type way. And also we're gonna touch on some some recruiting and things in there. And then uh, towards the end, we're gonna kind of cover this uh, enterprise feature. So if you are a, a CE, CE user, you will not be able to utilize uh, utilize this, but um, gonna be covering a, uh, an enterprise feature using annotations and how uh, kind of collaboration can happen with LinkedIn data. So I'll kind of cover that towards the end. Uh, but with that, I'm going to kind of uh, share my screen here and uh, we'll get everything going. So as folks know, um, LinkedIn is a social media platform that is mainly used for, for business, right? So it's used for recruiting, sales, um, <clears throat> business development. If you're trying to contact, figure out who works for who. Um, and also it's, it's a really, really interesting um, form of articles and news, see what's happening. You can get a lot of information about who's publishing stuff because sometimes they'll publish right to LinkedIn or what other companies are doing. It's kind of a good way to, to keep track of kind of the business world in a lot of cases. So um, with that in mind, we're going to kind of walk through some of those use cases. Like I said before, this isn't a cybersecurity focused, more about how Polarity kind of integrates with LinkedIn. Um, so to start, you're going to kind of kick it off with the, the recruiting use case, right? So that's how a lot of folks use LinkedIn is they're, they're trying to hire folks. There's recruiters trying to find folks. They spend a lot of time just digging through LinkedIn, right? So if I'm a, I'm a recruiter, I might try and look for Ember.js jobs. Um, Polarity utilizes Ember, so I'm kind of using utilizing that example. I might try and scroll through, find a person who um, who is using, using Ember, right? Um, or if I'm just looking for a salesperson, whatever it may be, I'm going to look in kind of drill in LinkedIn. And I'm only ever going to be in LinkedIn. Whereas if you're in the recruiting space, you're not only ever in LinkedIn, right? You have, you may have applications in um, in Smart Recruiter and Indeed, on AngelList, whatever that may be. Um, so you're spending a lot of time here in these other platforms, right? So here's here's AngelList. Um, we've used this before to, to hire some folks for Polarity. Um, I'm just going to type in Ember.js and see what types of jobs are available. See if there's uh, anything that. Um, Maybe uh, nothing that's going to pop up here. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. There. Look. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Demo. Demo gods are always fun. Uh, here we go. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it's being funky now. But anyways, right? I might be looking for Ember, and if, okay, there we go. I don't know. Uh, don't know why that was being funky. Um, you're looking here on, on AngelList. I'm going to look for jobs that are that are Ember, right? So you can see here, there's a whole bunch of different people that have Ember jobs. Um, but in order to then go to LinkedIn, I'm going to have to click through the profile, drill in, or I'm going to have to go over to LinkedIn, search it, do all of that. So here instead, I'm just going to take this example, run it through Polarity. So here we're utilizing our LinkedIn integration. So for folks who, who don't know, we utilize the Google custom search engine for a lot of different things. Um, we've, we've covered some of them in the past. Like last week, we used cover Twitter. Um, a few previous weeks, we did Sandbox, uh, Sandbox webinar. We've done uh, a Yara Finder and Exploit Finder webinar as well. So just kind of a different use cases utilize this Google Custom Search Engine. And here we're pointing it to LinkedIn, right? So see, if I just search for Douglas Wright, I can see that there are um, 4,000 different things. I can click out, kind of see who that person might be. Um, this just allows you to really kind of drill in more to who it might be, right? I can, I can of course, try and look up Douglas Wright and Ember to see if I can kind of tailor that search more. or if I'm, or if I'm in this and I just want to see, all right, what is, um, what does LinkedIn know about Ember jobs, right? I can just immediately type in Ember and see that, all right, there's quite a few folks that are popping up. There's like 3000 folks that have listed it as a skill. I can immediately just click out, click out, click, click out and see who that, and see who that person is. So as a, as a recruiter or doing recruiting and kind of utilizing the, um, the LinkedIn integration, it kind of allows you to do different things to kind of search differently than, than what you normally would as, as a recruiter or an HR person. It just kind of allows that, uh, that more exploration, for example. Um, another example of LinkedIn and how folks utilize LinkedIn is, of course, on the sales side, right? Sales folks use LinkedIn all the time. 
constantly, they're always on LinkedIn trying to message message folks, see if they can get a demo, see if they can um, find out more information about, about a, um, a prospect that has come in, right? They're spending a lot of time in LinkedIn doing, doing searches, things along those lines. I'm gonna here, for example, I'm gonna search for, for Joseph Cabela, Chief Strategy Officer Polarity. Maybe I'm trying to trying to sell to Polarity, for example, right? I know Joseph Rebella works for them. He's come through. I'm going to search in, um, drill through his profile, see if there's anything I can gain insight-wise to that. Um, another another potential thing I'm going to be doing as a salesperson is just looking up that kind of overall company, right? Like I know Polarity is in my list of companies that I want to sell to. I'm going to go, I'm going to search, I'm going to look at their LinkedIn profile, see what they have, see if they've posted stuff, see if there's any type of information I can I can garner um, that's that might be out there about Polarity to help use in selling, right? So this of course is, is very limited, right? So salesperson isn't always just in LinkedIn looking for stuff. They're in Salesforce, they're in email, they're in these other applications to try and gain information. So here's an example of kind of utilizing that Polarity LinkedIn integration with um, with Salesforce, right? Salesforce, right? So I have a lead, Joseph Ravella, he came in, in, in my Salesforce. Um, maybe I want to know more information about him. I can just highlight his name, hit a quick shortcut key, and see that there's 153 different Joseph Ravellas out there. And the first one that comes up is the one that I'm looking for is the chief strategy officer here at Polarity. Then I immediately have that LinkedIn context around who around that that person, right? So I didn't really have to pivot a whole bunch to to kind of see that. I didn't have to like get out of Salesforce, go click into LinkedIn, paste his name in, or retype his name in. Do all that you have that context there automatically and the the real power of clarity isn't just within the linkedin integration right it's tying all those different integrations together so uh for example if i had a full contact integration on or a um a social media integration our social media searcher on not only will i get information from linkedin but I'll also have the extra context of <clears throat> Who, what are his, what are his social media profiles? Like who, how can I contact him? Just kind of that enrichment that, that you would need as a sales, as a salesperson. And if, even then, if you have our discover org integration on, right, you can see who they report to, um, kind of get, get that full breadth of knowledge that you would need about that salesperson immediately without, without ever really, really leaving Salesforce, have all that context right there from the polarity window. I um, mean, here, I'm just kind of showcasing LinkedIn, just because we're, we're talking about LinkedIn today, but on the sales side, it really, really becomes useful when you have that that full breadth of of everything there. Um, and also the the other example, which I'll I'll get into uh, towards the end of a end of our webinar, is kind of the annotation parts of Polarity. So one of the really really powerful things, which I'll come back to and showcase um, later on, is being able to take your LinkedIn data and import it into Polarity, and having everybody else on your team do that. So you can immediately know if anybody else knows who this who this person is, and that's just not beneficial from a sales aspect, beneficial from a leadership aspect, from a recruiting aspect, from business development, et cetera. Right, and I'll, I'll get in, get into that in a minute. But um, <clears throat> just to kind of take this sales piece another step further, like I did within LinkedIn, if I wanted to see, I wanted to sell to Polarity, I'm just going to type in Polarity, see what pops up, see what there is. I can see here that Polarity is the first one. I immediately get that link, immediately have that context there available for me. So didn't really need to do anything. You have all that context right here from this window, instead of pivoting between the five, 10 different tabs that you would need. Um, the same can be said for, for business development, right? So business development and sales kind of along the same, same lines of a use case, right? As a business development person, you're gonna be searching for, all right, hey, I work for, XYZ vendor who's who does Intel. I know Polarity is, is a great way to get my Intel out there for folks. I'm going to try and contact a person at Polarity to see if if somewhere down the line we can work together, we can get integration going, et cetera. Right. So I'm gonna, gonna go to LinkedIn, I'm gonna click for stuff, but I'm gonna try and figure out who works there, right? So maybe if I do Polarity and product here, see if see if we'll get anything else that might that might showcase. We don't. Um, so I'm Again, you can look for Polarity, see who else is there. Um, oh, interesting here. Um, and then click through and see who I might be able to contact, right? So, or from the other aspect, right? I know, I know Joseph Miller does product over there. I'm just going to type in Joseph Miller and Polarity and see, see if I can find his LinkedIn profile, right? Without, without having to go through. Um, we'll just do that. In there, of course. Demo gods are really fun to me today. But we'll just look for Joseph Miller here, for example, just to kind of showcase the, the ways to use it. Um, and then the last way that I want to kind of really, really highlight um, is 
not only about pulling people and that um, the really, really great thing, like I said before about LinkedIn is being able to search through what is happening, right? Like what, what are people posting? Are there any blogs? Is there anything, things that I care about, right? So um, for example, here, if I were to like search for, search for clap, which is the, of course, the kind of uh, um, <clears throat> the threat actor group who attacked the, the security pipeline, um, you can see here that I don't really get a good way to look for news or anything along those lines. But if I were to utilize Clarity here, I kind of get that news. I get those results. I can see if there were there were any news articles better, right? So the first thing that pops up is, is a news article that somebody had posted about about that ransomware ransomware attack. So it's a really, really neat kind of use case. So if, you, if you're utilizing the LinkedIn integration plus like a Google search integration or a Twitter integration, you can really kind of get that full breadth of knowledge around those um, <clears throat> around those things you're trying to search up for. For example, here is, is Clap. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Might be pronouncing it wrong. Uh, but I just wanted to showcase that because it's a different way to kind of think about LinkedIn and how you could utilize it within Clarity, especially in combination with a lot of our other data sets. So the, the last way that I kind of wanted to showcase here about how uh, Plarity and LinkedIn can interact can interact before I jump into that annotation use case is, um, is an email, right? So as, as somebody in leadership, um, a salesperson, somebody in, in my role, right, as, as product, I get emails all the time from folks being like, hey, um, <clears throat> I met you at this place before, or hey, I want you to come buy this product. This here is, is an example from our, our sales engineer here, or, or head of sales engineering here, Dan Ramaswamy. I might want to know who this person is. Why is he reaching out to me? What do I know about Plarity, right? So I can just run a, run a quick search on that. I can run a quick search on, on Plarity.io, see what else might be out there. I'm going to see here. All right, so Dan Ramaswamy, yeah, he, works, he works for Plarity. I can kind of get a little bit more insight automatically, right? So you have that extra context about it, about who that is, right? And say with Plarity.io, if I had other integrations turned on, like, like Full Contact or IP Info, Host.io, you know, those, those different integrations we have that kind of enrich it, you'd have a better breadth of knowledge about what Plarity is, what they're trying to do. Is it, is it a phishing scheme? Anything along those lines, you have that, that context. It's not only about the person sending you the email, but about who the, the company might be and see if it's actually something that you're actually, that you're interested in. So um, that's kind of covering the LinkedIn integration that we have and how you can think about utilizing LinkedIn and Clarity. And the last little bit that I want to cover that I've, I've kind of uh, mentioned a few times, this is for our enterprise customers only. It's actually not for our, um, our CE, because CE, you do not have the ability for community edition, you don't have the ability to utilize um, annotations. Uh, but with, within, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Within uh, our enterprise version, you have the ability for, for annotation. So here uh, within LinkedIn, LinkedIn allows you to actually download all of your data. So if you were to go to your settings and privacy here, um, there's get a copy of your data. So you can click in here. You can you can download the archive of your data, whatever it is you wanted, you wanted to download. I just did it not too long ago, but you can download that. Um, and it comes as a CSV format, kind of pull it up here. It does come as a as first name, last name format. So you'll have to do a little bit of reformatting before you upload it into Flarity as a CSV. But once you do this, you have all of your contacts anywhere. So it's not set to on demand because it's a, it's a um, <clears throat> it's an annotation. So you can see here that I turned on highlight mode. I instantaneously have information about, about Dan Ram Ramaswamy. I can see here that I'm connected to him. And if there were other folks on my team that were also connected to him, you'd have that, you'd have that context. You would see like, hey, yeah, Joe's known him since, since March, 2020. Hey, Joe, um, how do you know him? Do you have any insights? Can you help me out, right? So the other, the other case here is going back to what I was telling before in Salesforce. So here in Salesforce, you can see I pulled up this lead Joseph Ravella, I can see immediately that somebody knows something about him, right? So, hey, somebody's been connected with him before because this light blue means that I have a, um, that I, I have a connection or somebody else on my team has a connection with this person. So you click in, you can see, all right, yeah, I know he's, he was connected to Joe from his, from his LinkedIn contact. So you can reach out to Joe on your team and be like, hey, how do you, how do you know him? Again, can you, can you help me out here? So Adding that kind of the data piece from an annotation aspects around LinkedIn is, a, is another really, really great way to utilize LinkedIn. We've been doing it for years here at Polarity. Um, everybody uploads their contacts on who knows who, and it just helps from a communication aspect to, to know that, hey, um, David Droha, our VP of sales, has been connected with this person forever. I'm trying to talk to him from a business development aspect, right? Because 
um, my part of my role here is I want to develop integrations with all these different companies and we have a customer that's requested it. So I know that, that David has a contact there. I can reach out to him and be like, hey, <clears throat> can you can you hook us up? Can you can you kind of facilitate this discussion? Because we need to establish a partnership, right? So it's just a really, really cool way to kind of utilize that LinkedIn data. Um, we do have a, a few other videos out there. So if folks are interested, uh, just let us know. We can shoot you some videos on how to export it and, and how to import it into Clarity and all that. And uh, with that, that kind of concludes our, our session today on LinkedIn. And uh, again, I really want to thank everybody for taking the time to join us. And if you have any questions or comments, um, as always, feel free to, to reach out to us. Um, you can reach us at customer success at polarity.io or support at polarity.io. Or if you have any product questions, want to ask me any questions, you can, of course, reach out to me at any point in time. My email is joem at polarity.io. Um, reach out. More than happy to answer, hop on another call, and, and work through whatever questions you have. And with that, uh, hope everybody has a good rest of your Tuesday.